Welcome to our episode of Barb and Saturdays, and this week I decided to take a look at My Little Pony Twinkle Wish Adventure, a My Little Pony Holiday Special. And I have to admit, the most interesting thing about this film is that I was asked for ID in order to buy it. I'm not kidding, I was literally asked to prove I was over 18 in order to buy a My Little Pony movie. Like, why? Like, what part of this DVD just screams, you know, adult content incoming, you know? Like, is it full of My Little Pony porn or something? The answer is no, of course not! It's not like the characters, you know, being in their birthday suits counts as, you know, sexual content like this little clip from Outlaw Star. I see, you came all the way here just to sneak a peek at Asia in her birthday suit, huh? <laughs> no, you're wrong! I didn't come here for the... Which is why the episode got banned from being shown on t Unami, and that's not kind of some of the other, you know, nudity in that episode, but yeah, stuff like that got that episode just pulled from TV and they skipped the next one. So even see the episode, you have to buy the box set. Or at least the volume it came in. But with this movie, uh, as for why I need ID to get this, well, if you look at the back of the box, it says, not rated for all audiences. And I will agree. This film is not for all audiences. Not because it contains, you know, mature content that's just unseemly for little kids to watch, but because it contains no content that adults would be interested in watching. There's no major character arcs, there's no major personal dramas or anything going on like, say, in Rainbow Rocks. This is a film aimed at very little kids, and they're the only ones that could possibly enjoy this. And the only other people I could think that might be able to enjoy it are fans of Generation 3 of the My Little Pony franchise, because this is the last film in that, fr that line. Yep, the last Generation 3 movie is this movie. And they might be able to get something out of this just from seeing the characters, you know, one last time and one last final hurrah in a winter special, or holiday special. And that's it. I'm not saying I can't come with some legitimate criticisms for this film, because I can, but it's hard for me to really hammer this film, you know, really, really hard, because, like I said, it's aimed for, you know, a very young audience. And I feel like, you know, being really mean and cruel to it if I start taking a hammer and just smashing into it over and over again. Because it doesn't deserve it. I mean, like I said, it's, it's aimed at a young audience. Obviously, I'm not going to get anything out of it. As for legitimate criticisms I can throw at it, well... It has some really cringy dialogue. I mean, really cringy dialogue. Like, it's the stuff that'd make you cringe for days if you're watching this like I did. I guess I'll show the best example of this in motion, because this line pops up a couple times. Cool beans! It also contains a few really cringy jokes. I swear it would have to be like dad jokes or something. Like this little bit. Oh no, thank you. I'm watching my figure. Watching it do what? As for more positive criticism, well, I guess the fact they call it the Winter Wish Festival, I can give some positive criticism for it on the grounds that it helps build the world a bit, and it allows the movie to be more marketable to other audiences, because it doesn't, you know, step on, you know, religious holidays like Christmas, Hanukkah, Kwanzaa, and the list could probably go on for forever just about. But choosing to call it the Winter Wish Festival means you leave it open for, you know, being sold all over the world. So the, move ha the movie doesn't have to worry about stepping on anyone's toes of a religious nature, at least. But yeah, there's just not much for me to really say about this film. Because like I said, it's aimed at such a young audience. I don't feel fair if I came at it with my A game. Because it would just be unnecessarily cruel to a movie aimed at, like, toddlers. <sighs> Till next time, then. See ya. How do you do that, Pinkie Pie? I speak pink. <laughs>